welcome back to another throwing episode of Lumberjack Barbecue. Thank you very much for stopping by. Let me tell you a little story about young Lumberjack. 16 years old, looking to get a job, do some work, whatever, get some money in his pocket. And uh, so Lumberjack decides to work at a fire company. And the fire company uh, puts Lumberjack to work as, what do they call them? A, um, uh, a sous chef. What? No, I am is not soup. <laughs> I remember being in that place on a Saturday and prepping bacon and potatoes and all that for breakfast on Sunday. And they had these things called gravy burgers. So we're gonna start out with one, uh, one three pound package of ground turkey. They probably used beef. And to that, we're going to add onion, pepper, and some garlic. And that'll be to season the uh, burger patty itself, probably some salt and pepper too, uh, and some Worcestershire sauce. Notwithstanding, once we go to make the gravy, um, then we're going to have, of course, uh, what was it, one cup of beef stock. Oh, I forgot to put the flour out here. We're going to have that too. We're going to have some mushrooms and all of them going on uh, Martin's potato rolls. So uh, stick around and see what happens here. We're going to start out by getting our turkey all ready to go we're gonna um, get it seasoned up and then start with our onions and uh, pepper and garlic get that uh, sweat it off in a cast iron pan over here it's 96 degrees today I think the heat index index is about hundred and eight in Pennsylvania I'm gonna tell you a little bit something else about Pennsylvania later on so see that all right here we are we're back well actually you're back or am I back I guess we're back. So uh, we got the uh, one whole white onion diced up, one whole red pepper diced up. We got uh, I don't know six cloves of garlic diced up, and of course that depends on the size. We're going with half a stick of butter. That's four tablespoons. We're gonna put it in that old frying pan over here. I know the suspense. Look at that. All right, we're gonna put our onions and peppers in there. We're gonna sweat these down. What we wanna do is we wanna get the uh, moisture out of them. So this is gonna be quite a process, I would imagine. And uh, later on, when we're close to the end, we'll put our um, garlic in, and uh, soon we'll get our uh, turkey out and start spicing that up and getting it all ready for you. So when we come back, that's what we'll be doing. All right, so a uh, little camera malfunction. We had too much on there. So there's gonna be a kind of a weird break here. So I did some of this sauce right here, this Wor Worcestershire sauce. And I don't know, a bunch of glugs, you know, like that. And we're gonna do some pepper. A little like that. I guess that's good, right? A little more, there you go. A little salt. Oh, baby. And then we we'll get to mixing it up, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, actually, we won't mix it up. You know what? We're going to wait till our onions, peppers, and then garlic are done, and then we'll mix it all up. So, you'll be around then. Okay. So, one thing I noticed was that I forgot the garlic to put it in with the uh, onions and peppers. But Mrs. Lumberjack said that'll be fine. So, here we go. Oh, all right. I'm gonna take the onions and peppers. Yeah, that's right. Get the right angle there. Sorry for blocking you. She is the executive producer. We'll put that all in there. Even the butter. Sounds good. Looks good. I'll put that garlic there. Put that in. There's only one way to do this. You know how it is. Los manos. Alright, we're gonna get to mixing this all in at some point when you're not watching. She will turn on the water so I can wash my hands and just you don't wanna incorporate it too much. Uh, incorporate now. You want to incorporate it a lot. You don't want to mix it up too much and, and, and make 
You don't want to make your meat hard. You want it to be loose and soft. I know, it's the one time. So, that's what we're doing. Then we'll form some patties. Which this is three pounds of turkey, along with uh, all this vegetably, vegetable, vegetably goodness. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna use that same pan, fry these up, four burgers at a time. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you soon. Uh, oh no, it's the blob. The blob's gotten me. Uh, oh no, it's just these. Uh, turkey burgers here they do look like blobs a little bit so we're just going to form them up into some patties you know kind of like meatloafs that was a really good movie oh, indeed shot locally too here in pennsylvania some are bigger than others some are smaller than others whatever it don't matter they're all going to be yummy and tasty and good and nice oh maybe i'll flatten them out a little bit so that's what we're doing then we'll uh, fry them up in that same pan Get a little uh, sear on them. Same pan that we had the uh, onions and the pepper in. And that's it. It's dude. So turkey doesn't have a lot of fat. Got our pan cooking here. I think I'm going to throw in some vegetable oil. And everything looks like it's bubbling in there good. We'll throw four patties in. Oh! Baby, listen to that sizzle. Oh, that's the way that daddy likes it. Oh, man. Not too close now. And we're just searing both sides. Okay, so we're going to sear them on both sides. And I think that's looking pretty good. Put them off. On this pan here. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Don't get them too uh, dark. And we'll put the next ones on. Now, I will add a little vegetable oil. That's so hard to say for me. And brown, sear, I'm sorry, sear off four more. And that's it. Then after this, we'll get to the uh, gravy. Okay. So we got our burgers done. They're seared on both sides. Pretty adequately. And so we're supposed to add four tablespoons of butter. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, that seems good. Mix it around. So like we were saying, the burgers are done and we put four tablespoons of butter in here and now it's time to add your uh, four tablespoons of flour. This is a third cup. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna add a little bit. Mix it all around, you gotta keep on stirring. Don't stop. Do not stop. Now I got it on four which is probably like a medium low. I don't know if that's right. It'll be right for, oh man, look at that splashing all over. The horror. Oh, jeez. The horror. So it is horrible, I have to admit. I'm hoping it'll taste good, but jeez and crackers. I've never seen nothing like this. So we got our four tablespoons of flour in here, four tablespoons of butter, we're constantly stirring, and it still looks like hell. But that's all right, it'll probably be good. So now we got this all incorporated, we're gonna take, what? A half a cup of uh, beef broth, which would probably be like that. Continue to stir. And that'll pick all the stuff off the bottom. Oh, baby. I'll pick it up off the, the burner. Kind of run that around a little bit. And there we are, we're gonna to continue to stir, stir, stir. Maybe a little more beef broth. There we go. Yeah, yeah, like and subscribe this horrible video, please. 
like and subscribe. I'm up to 281 subscribers now. I'm almost a legend. I'm a legend in this house. <laughs> what are you laughing about? For burning fans. What are you talking about? What you talking? I'm just kidding. Oh, You're good. very good. So, there we go. That's a very dark gravy. Very, very... Oh, it's starting to pick up stuff. On. It's starting to actually look like it might be alright. A little more beef broth. That be oh, beef stock. Sorry. There we go. Now it's starting to work. I'm thinking uh, I'm happy now. Just another step. We're going to add a can of mushrooms. Get in there. Get in there. And we're going to see how it thickens up. We might have to use some more beef stock. We got plenty of burgers in this pan right here. So we're going to uh, see what happens here. Salt, pepper right there we're going to add. And then about 45 minutes in the oven at 350. Should be good. It's a labor of love. Thank you Mrs. Lumberjack for helping me out. We got the mushrooms in here. I actually put one and a half cans of those mushroom pieces and stems. And uh, it's thickening up nice, but it will thicken up a lot more when we put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. So, without injuring Mrs. Lumberjack. I'll stand way back. Yeah, stand way back. We're going to pour our gravy over our burgers. Oh, man. It, the smells in here are just totally fantastic well you know it could have been something you know you know it could have been something hey 20 minutes 140 150 i saw one of them was 160 something for turkey 165 we're good to go we're going to take the lid off put it back in for 20 minutes and see what happens see you then all right they're done our gravy burgers are done uh, I got 160, 170, 180 different spots, whatever. They look totally awesome. We're all psyched and ready to eat them. I got two toasted buns. What I'm going to do is, for mine, a little horseradish mustard. And we'll squirt that out there on the heel. Just a little bit. A little knife action. And for the boy, We'll get them one one big one right there that's the way you like it oh yeah now he's not a mushroom fan so I'll take a couple more mushrooms of his there we go little cheese just regulation uh, white American cheese if I can get it peeled out here Gonna be awesome tonight. Crown it with the crown and take a bite. Squish it down. That is dinner tonight. I'll tell you what, check this thing out. It's from my childhood. I mean, when I worked at uh, the firehouse as a cook and uh, busboy and whatever, delicious stuff. Love it. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Lumberjack Barbecue.